everybody, this is Praxis, and my dad and I are back on site today without Josh. We lost Josh for some reason. I'm going to let you guys guess in the comments below why Josh is not coming to the site for the foreseeable future. I'd love to hear your ideas. I will reveal the correct answer tomorrow. Uh, but for now, it's just my dad and myself, and my dad, as you can see, over to the left, you know, per usual on the videos, he's the one working, I'm just kind of hanging out and talking. Uh, you can see he's working on the railings. Uh, we got one done the other day. Uh, as you recall, uh, it, was, it was a team effort. Uh, my dad prepped the boards, Josh sanded them, I stained them, and then he put them up. And he's working on the second one today. Uh, and what I wanted to talk about specifically uh, in relation to that is you can see that the miter saw here, you'll notice that I used the right word. Didn't you call it a chop saw? It's a miter saw. Uh, yeah, I learned. Uh, the miter saw is uh, set at an angle. My dad is doing, you know, all these various angles for putting that thing up. Uh, I've been working on wall boards all morning, uh, which I'm just doing straight 90 degree cuts. And uh, there's kind of starting to be a conflict, a violent conflict around the miter saw. And to avoid that, to de-escalate the situation, I've decided to try to move to something else that doesn't involve cutting wood, which is a little bit challenging on a big project like this, where it's like, you know, mostly working with wood. Uh, but uh, Based on the fact that Josh is not here, I'm going to be joshing for the day, doing a lot of sanding. There's, uh, Josh has done a great job kind of getting like the rough stuff done, but I want to be a little more meticulous. I'm going to go over the entire thing and uh, you know, just sand off any areas that you know, I feel like could have been done a little bit better. As you can see around my neck, I've got an N95 mask selling now on Amazon for like 30 bucks a pop uh, last time I checked. Uh, I'm going to be wearing this to try to cut down on the amount of dust that I'm breathing in. This is an old 90, uh, N95 mask. It was really dirty and dusty. I took it, ran a vacuum through it to just try to get it as clean as I could. Not perfect, but it's a heck of a lot better than putting on an old du dusty mask. So I did that and I'm going to be using this uh, both to, you know, just generally it's good to do that if you're doing really dusty work. But with COVID-19 going around, I don't want to be aggravating my lungs in case I do contract it at some point. So I'm trying to keep you know, these babies as clean and pristine as I possibly can by using my child size N95 mask. This is a small, but I think it'll work fine. Only my mouth is big. That's it. Thanks for watching.